the microstation view commands. These are located down on the lower portion of the view that you have opened up, which in this situation we just have one view opened up. And they are located down below here. The first one is the view attributes, which we're going to talk about a little bit later. We've got a separate section on that, so we'll come back to that one. The next one is the update view which will update the view whenever you're working with the drawing. So if you draw something or you edit text or do something and it just doesn't quite look right, just click on this button right here that says update view and it will refresh your view accordingly. The next one on the toolbar is the zoom in. And if you click on it, it's going to bring up a dialog box that says zoom in. You got a zoom ratio of 2. You can change that basically to whatever you want. I think up to 50. But the most common situation that we normally keep it at is 2. So it's going to zoom in a factor of 2. Basically all you do, and you'll see the box out there on your screen, you know, you'll see the, um, the crosshair in the middle, and that would be the center of the, of the view. And all you have to do is position it wherever you want, and we'll say we'll go to the, the island here in, on this pond, and just do a single left click, and you'll see that's going to zoom in. If you do a left click again, it's going to zoom in a factor of 2 again just like that. Once you're finished with the command, you're zoomed in, right click to reset it, and you're finished. The next one on the toolbar is the zoom out. So if you click on it, it's going to zoom out a factor of 2 for the situation right here. And like what it does for the, um, the zoom in, you got the zoom factor of whatever you want to put in there, you can change that also. And all you have to do is just left click out on the screen somewhere, and it's going to zoom out a factor of 2 on whatever you have put in there just by a single left click. Of course once you're finished with it, right click to reset the tool and it'll bring you back to your out default tool. The next one is the window area. So we'll click on it. Here you can actually put a window around the area that you want to zoom in. And it's just creating a box or a window around that particular area. And all you have to do is left click once, drag the box out to wherever you want to put a zoom factor that you want to zoom in for, left click again, and there you zoomed in using the window area tool. Like I said, just left click once, drag the box out, left click again, it zooms into that window that was defined on the screen. You can also apply it to another window so if you had multiple windows opened up let's say you had window 1 and window 2 you could actually come in here window it on window 1 but it would be applied to window 2 and I can kind of show you that example here real quick this next one right here is the fit view which is going to fit everything on the on the screen and I'm going to do that right now just to show you this one again for the um, window area if you click on this next one right here that says fit view it's going to fit everything inside this particular drawing right here now if I come up to my window pull down and go to my views which we're going to talk about this, this a little bit later also if you go to window 2 and I'll do a fit view on both of them and you see I have my line weights turned on in, on this one so I'm going to go ahead and turn those off and we'll come back to the view attributes later turn my line weights off and now if I come back to my window area, I'll close out the tool and come back into it. There we go. Window area, right now it's going to be applied to window 1. But I can come in here and apply it to window 2. So if I zoom in on window 1 or view 1, let's say I want to zoom into maybe this entrance right here with this mailbox. I'll zoom in. And you'll see that view 1 will stay but it'll be applied to view number 2 so that's an option if you want to utilize that or not I'm gonna go ahead and close view 2 for right now and I'll maximize my view 1 by double left clicking on the banner here and now I'll come in and do my fit view again like I said it fits everything in the file there are some options underneath here where you can do all active reference and raster you can look at those at your own leisure but basically what they do is it is if you have it set to all it's going to look at everything that's in the file 
everything that's physically inside this file plus all your reference files that are attached to it and also all your raster images that are attached to the DGN file. If you want to go just to the active geometry that's act that is in the file, you could change that to active and it will zoom in to just the active geometry that's in the file or just the references or the raster images that are attached. 95% of the time it's going to be you'll leave it set to all so we we'll just leave it set to that. The next one on here is the rotate view. This is one that's not commonly used, but I will show you how it works. But like I said, it's not too often is it used. What it does is if you click on it, it's going give to you, give you the option to um, dynamically rotate it. You got two points or unrotated. So if you want to rotate your, your view, let's just do it dynamic just to kind of show you. You can left click once. Hold your left mouse button down and you can see that it's going to rotate however you want to rotate it around. You also have the two points where you can define two points to do it or you can do unrotated where it will unrotate the view and be oriented due north, south, east, and west. But most commonly whenever you have a border attached to it you need it set to where your border is horizontal and vertical just like what it would what it was before. So I'm going to go ahead and do a couple of view, view previouses, which are the, is this right here, to bring it back. This next one right here, we'll go back one, right after the um, rotate view is the pan. So I'm going to go ahead and zoom into maybe a certain area here, and I'll right click to reset it. And if you use the pan tool, you'll see this little hand out here. If you want to pan along through here, all you have to do is hold your left mouse button down and you can drag to whatever location that you want. You can kind of pan around the drawing. You can hold your left mouse button down or right now if you see the hand, the hand is open. And if you do a single left click, you'll see that your hand will kind of shrink. Basically, you're, you're kind of grabbing onto the drawing and now you can move your mouse around without holding that left mouse button down. So it's kind of two different ways you can do it. So that's your pan option right there. And these two right here is your view previous and view next. So if we go do a view previous, it's going to go back to the previous view that you had. You can keep clicking on that one all the way up to where you actually opened up the file. So that's what the view previous does. The view next will go to the next view that you had. Just like what we're doing here up to your last view that you've zoomed into or zoomed out or whatever. The copy view, that's where you can copy a view from one place to another. So if you had multiple views opened up, maybe view one and view two, and you had view one the way you want it and you want to copy it over to view two, you could do that. But like I said, that's not one thing that's not commonly used, but it can be utilized. So those are the options underneath the view commands. And like I said, we'll come back. There's a separate section on the, um, the view attributes that we'll talk about later on in one of the sections.